is directing today. Um, she's taken over the episode because the other guy, Rasta guy, didn't want to do it. This guy was a Rastafarian is scared. And then a few days ago, Joby said, okay, cool. He's not scared, he'll direct. Because I have the huevos for this job. So all I know is my episodes are still coming. <laughs> He's scared, man. <laughs> See, conflict. And I'm still be thinking about shots. Um, we're just going through the shot list this morning with Mahube. <laughs> Almost every episode we're going to try to make it look slightly different from another one. I received a phone call very late last night from the musical director, uh, Chad Alexander, um, that uh, whoever the act was that was supposed to perform couldn't perform. <laughs> I've got nothing to do, so I was like, okay, let's do it. I mean, you know, why not? I can see the light I like the concept of, you know, stripping music down, especially nowadays where, you know, the pop formats, um, it's so beat driven that, you know, so much of the music relies on such a strong production on like what the beat sounds like that sometimes the actual essence of a good song is not there and this is a great way to test out whether your song is a good song and was written well generally in, in my circles we, re we refer to him as the Chad because there's lots of Chads but there's only one Chad so you know he's the Chad you know plus Chad and I play together all the time so it's an easy thing they know all my songs and therefore they didn't have to quickly try and find someone and rehearse songs which they have no clue about this really I think exposes exactly what the song means to you because you've got to dig deeper, you've got to dig deeper into the song, into what the lyrics are saying. High five, bro.